So Rock chapter 2, verse 10, and it reads, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth, and saveth, and saveth, and saveth in the time of affliction. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, keep trusting in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Regardless of people here for a bed, just a quick little lesson on just who to trust. Never lose sight on who to trust. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's happening, you see, nobody, no matter what people are talking about, you know, you know, no matter what lies are being pushed or what doctrines are being pushed, trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He's going to direct thy paths. You see? And Lord willing, I'm going to get that Proverbs, the third chapter, you know what I'm saying? One of my favorites. But, but you know, you got a whole lot of people deceiving the masses, man. You got these false prophets saying, um, in the, in the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Then you got these heathens, man, deceiving our people. So this is a quick little lesson on who to trust in, right? And who to fear. Who to fear first and foremost, and then who to trust, right? Let's get this. Once again, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old, our forefathers. It's, it's a whole lot of different um, examples you see, I mean, Daniel and the lions then, Meshach, Shamrach, and Abednego, Noah, Lot. You see, Jeremiah, Isaiah, all, all the men of the Lord, Joshua, Caleb. You, you see, just over and over, over and over. King David, our king, King David. Look at the generation of O and C. Did ever any trust in the Lord? Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, you can't forget our forefather um, Abraham, our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Can't, can't forget them, those great men. You see? Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And was confounded? Was put to shame? No, man. That's a question. Or did any abide in his fear? And was forsaken? No. no. Or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? None, man. For the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy. And the Lord is showing us tender mercy now by giving us this word, by protecting us throughout the day, the night. You see, the wee hours of the morning, all the above. Right? It, it says, um, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering. The Lord um, pretty much putting his spirit on us to get it together, right? Look, 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 look. And very pitiful. And forgive his sins. And look, look, and sin is the transgression of the law. No one can forgive your sins but the Lord. You see? But the Lord. Lord, Yahweh Shai. And saveth in the time of affliction, man. And we're living in the time of affliction, but more affliction is going to come. The hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble. You see? That nuclear fire is coming. You see, the chariot shooting, the laser beams are coming. So a whole lot coming down the pipeline. And when these things come down the pipeline, who are we going to trust in? Lord willing, Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua keeps their spirit on us to continue to trust in them. Look, nothing else. There's nothing else to trust in, Israel. I mean, it's, it's like mind-boggling. You got Israelites just getting ready to vote again. You got Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, Salakia. You got Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, look, getting ready to vote. It's it, it just, it just mind-boggling, man. But that's the Lord blinding them. The Lord said, look, whoever he, the Lord said, I show mercy to whom I want to show mercy to. I'll, I'll open the eyes of a person that I wanted to open the eyes to. The Lord wants you to see the truth, and he wants you to get it. You're going to get it. If not, man, you, you're done. Because the scriptures tell us um, if, if our gospel be hid, meaning this good news, it is hid to them that are lost, man. Okay? The Lord put them in a slumber, man. Stupor, right? Proverbs 3, 5. 
trust in the Lord, because this lesson is all about just trust who to trust in. You see, who to fear. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, with all your mind. Trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh We can't go over these scriptures enough. This scripture basically need to come out each and every day, man. You see? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. Because anytime you start leaning into your own understanding, you start thinking you know what's good for you. You end up falling flat on your way, your ASS, man, every time. Israel always fell flat on their you-know-what, on their buttocks. Because you know we got to keep it PG here at the tube. Israel always fell on their you-know-what, on their buttocks, when they didn't trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Look, look at us now, over here. Wait over here on the other side of the world. And look at Jake scattered throughout the four corners of the earth through. Because we didn't put our trust in the Lord, but but it was all prophecy. This is a movie that we involved in, man. And and, and the character is going to do exactly what the director tells them to do. Whatever was written in your script, you're going to do. We're going to do. It says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise to thy own eyes. Fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and depart from evil. Nobody ain't thinking about no damn winter games. Nobody ain't thinking about no damn voting. Nobody, well, look, we ain't thinking about nothing but you. How about Shem Yahweh in the words of prophecy, man? All right? And Lord willing, getting the hell out of here, man. And I just want to type in trust the Lord and bring out a couple of scriptures on that. And then I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. This is, on, this is Psalms 118 and 8. It is better. It is, it is better to trust in the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, then to put confidence in a man. And, and that's what our people are doing. When, you, when you're voting, when you're taking heed to what Sleazy E is saying, you, you put your confidence, aka your faith, in man. Man will always let you down. Just remember that Israel. But Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai won't because the Lord is perfect. You see? Man going to always let you down if you put your confidence in a man. You see? The scriptures say, woe to him that, that, that put his confidence in a man. You see? Once again, Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, than to put confidence in man. Especially if, especially if he's not a man of the Lord. Our people are really putting that trust in, in, in falsehood. You see? False prophets. Lies. So forth and so on. I'm just read a couple of scriptures and then I'm gonna wrap it up, man. You know, uh, Psalms 115 and 9. Oh Israel, you see, this is this is talking to Israel, a people before us a place, which represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's just because I mean, because you got some Israelites that just now wake it up. This might be their first video. The Hebrew Israelites consist of the so-called now so-called Negroes, because those names that the blacks. Um, Latins, natives, those are proverbs, those are bywords that was put on us by a slave master. So when we say so-called, yeah, those on our biblical nationality. Our biblical nationality is Hebrew Israelites from our prospective tribe, Judah, all the way down to Issachar, so-called Mexicans, right? Oh, Israel, trust thou in the Lord. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? He, he is their help. And their shield. This is our protection right here. The name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe, man. Okay? So, so the Lord is our help and our shield. You see? From, from everything that's going on. Psalms 190, Psalms um, 91 and 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. A place that we can run to. The Lord. And my fortress. My power. In him will I trust, man. We're trusting in the Lord. The Lord got his spirit on us to trust in them, man. Okay? No, no, Nobody else, man. All right? I read that earlier, that Proverbs 3 and 5. Let's see. Bring out a couple more scriptures, and I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verse 31. As for Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, his way is perfect. The Lord don't make no mistakes, so, so why not follow an entity that don't make mistakes? You try to follow man. Man make mistakes each and every second of the day. Just know that, Israel. Man make mistakes each and every second of the day, but the Lord is perfect. His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him, man. All right? 
our Psalms are 73 and 20, 28. But it is good for me to draw near to Yahweh, Bashan Yahweh Shai. I have put my trust in the Lord that I may declare all thy works. And that's starting off with the head apostle slash elder bishop of great millstone. That's exactly what we do. We declare the works of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? Trusting in the Lord is going to help us get through. Not man. Most definitely not man. Psalms 27. Some trust in chariots, meaning their vehicles, right? And some in horses, meaning their power, right? But we, the whole for elect, but we will remember the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, our power, man. Because because there's power in that name. You got people trusting in their vehicles and cars and things of that nature. And then you got people trusting in their strength. That's what they, they go to the gym all the time. They be working out there. Ah, my muscles. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Their, their status on the earth, how much money they got. Because once again, horses represents power. You see? They trust in the fame that they got on the earth. But we, the whole for elect, will remember the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Once again, which is that strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. Let's see. Um, Isaiah 12 and 2. Behold, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song. He all he also has become my salvation. We're only getting salvation through the Heavenly Father sending his only begotten Son down, man. That, that's it. That's it. Psalms 40 and 4. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. We trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We're not trusting in a man that, that has turned this prideful first and foremost. And that's turned to lies, man. Okay? That, that's an oxymoron. You trusting in a person that's prideful and, and they lie and, and they trust and believe in lies and they're speaking lies. That's an oxymoron. You, you won't win that way. You won't win that way. Matter of fact, let's just get this right quick because I'm about to wrap it up. I want to go back to Sirach. Sirach um, 12. Just showed you according to the scriptures who to trust in. Let's show you according to the scriptures who not to trust in. Let's get this, so Rock chapter 12. And it's good. And everything's going to be all right. Yeah, we're going through what we got to go through. But trusting in you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man? That, that look, man, that, that gets you out of any situation that befalls you. We, we read that earlier, man. Just constantly keep trusting in you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, um, who they eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, right? So Rock chapter 12. Verse 10, never trust thine enemy. Now the scripture is telling us to trust in the Lord. And then the Lord came right back. This is the heavenly father who they can call God, the most high Yahweh, is telling you never trust thine enemies. We got enemies out here, Israel. Uh, um, contrary to popular belief, you, we got enemies, okay? And, and these heathen nations, man, all right? Starting off with sleazy E. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. And metal rust, you can take some sandpaper and, and scrape the metal, scrape the rust off the metal. Guess what? That rust still gonna come back. See, so it don't it don't matter if he put on a suit, okay? It don't matter if he give you a raise, a bonus, so forth and so on. Look, it's still the enemy, it's still the wicked. Never trust them. Let's um let's jump down some. Thirteen. Who would pity a charmer? And then you got people voting for the enemy. Them lines be long as on nowhere. You like Jay really falling for that? Especially you old heads. You old heads. Y'all got to go, man. Straight up, man. Just like in the wilderness. The majority of them old heads, you know what I'm saying, got done away with, man. And their children made it to the promised land. These these are the this the, the wilderness pretty much all over again. Jake threw out here. You old heads gone. You see? You old you, the majority of you old heads ain't taught the younger generation nothing. All right? But how to, but how to um, beg the, the slave master, you know what I'm saying, for crumbs off his table, how to worship women, you know what I'm saying, and how to, how to be simple. That's the only thing the majority of you old heads have done, man, especially the, mainly the men of our nation. And you women, too. Can't forget about you old heads, you women, you old-headed women. Y'all ain't taught the young women nothing. Too busy trying to trying to shake your, fe your tail feather, right? But what did the Lord say? Who would pity a charmer that is bitten 
with a serpent. You go playing around with a snake, you get bit. Who's going to pity you? Who's going to bemoan you? you? You knew it was a snake. Or any such as come nigh wild beasts. Let's jump down. 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, his mind, he'll, he'll tell you everything that sounds good. I'm here to make life better for you. You see, I'm, I'm here to make things affordable. I'm going to create um, affordable housing, a.k.a. the projects. You know what I'm saying? And all this other nonsense, right? So an enemy speaking sweet, vote for me. I'm going to change. I'm going to change the laws. You see, I'm going to do this, that, and the third. Come on, man. An enemy speaking sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, his mind. He imagined if how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, and a pit is a trap. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, you start catching hell. Thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, say, see, Yahweh by Shem Shai, they don't pretend to help, the, help us. They really do help us, right? They protect us. This devil pretends to help you. He pretends to protect you, right? And though he pretend to help thee, with, look, look, with the juicy juice and all that other nonsense, Yet shall he undermine thee. So I just want to bring out a couple of scriptures on who to trust. I ain't going to make it long. I got to head out. Go get my daily bread. Lord, one and through the spirit of Yahweh. By Shem El Shai. Look, man. We ain't got too much longer, Israel. You know. It's, it's almost it's madness. It's nightmare. It's almost over. The Lord tell me that each and every day. It's almost over, man. We ain't got long. Our Savior is coming back soon. Come. But before he comes back, he wants us to trust in him. All, all in. You see? All in, no, no plan B. Just playing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. No plan B. We, we all in. Be all in. The Lord said He wants you either hot or cold, not lukewarm. You're either all in or you're all out. Choose you this day whom you're going to serve. You see? But as for me and my household, we're going to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Abba Ratazai to the end. So, so just a quick little lesson on who to trust in. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding. Shalom.